Hello, my friends. Welcome to the new studio, the new Coricollect painting studio. That it's not, it's not ready yet, as you can see. <laughs> so I decided to make this video just to keep you updated. This is the new studio. And uh, this is the situation right now. It's still a little bit of a mess. It's everything need to be set up. Everything is, is coming all together. Now, that one, that table you see there, you just see a little piece of it. That was my old painting table, the one that you all know and love, I hope. And uh, well, when I came here and I put it against this wall, it was really too small. And I said, well, why do I have to have this little table against this wall? Now, now I have more space, so I would rather have a bigger table. And so here we are. I went to Ikea not sponsored, even though it would be, it would be funny to be sponsored by Ikea, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's, if, if that's doable, but anyway, new table here that I bought from Ikea, which is much bigger, but then there was a little problem. My workshop, uh, the, the modular workshop system that you see here that some of you sometimes ask about in the comment, well, it is from Hobby Zone, and it is modular, and it is one of the greatest things that you can have on your table because it makes your life much, much easier when you have to put everything together and have everything ready for uh, your painting session. And since I had this, of course, I built it around the old table, which was smaller, and now the table is much, much bigger. And as you see here, that, those are the new module for the painting table. And uh, I will have to build them. I will build them here in the video. I will just show you how they look and how they present on the table after I've built them. And they, they, this is going to look amazing. I can already see everything here. It's going to be awesome. So I will finally have more space for all the paints that I have and I can buy new paints finally. Unfortunately, I didn't buy as much paint as I would like to because I didn't have much space there, uh, which, which was pretty ugly. I had a lot of painting pots stuck on top of the other. It was pretty messy and I was starting to, 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 to worry about the fact that I, I don't know what to do anymore with, with all my paints, but now I have more space and so I will buy more paints for my workshop and I can try new stuff and maybe make new video about it, who knows. Anyway, but first, before I build the new modules, we have to talk about the old table. Now, that old little table, it's something that I built myself. I built it myself and I painted myself. And it was my painting station for quite a lot of years. And now, as you can see, it's, it's pretty, pretty dirty. Uh, there are color paints, stain, water stains, there are drop of glue, scatter around the surface of the table and I want to refresh it a little bit since I didn't want to throw it away because it was just a waste in my opinion and so now that I have windows I finally have the chance to have a airbrushing station with a ventilation so that it can just ventilate out all of the fumes and, and, and the paints that I use with my airbrush. Does ventilating Kind kind of work as a, as a as a verb. I don't know. Does does that the, the, do you understand? You understand what I said, right? Yeah. Just take the, the stuff and spit it out of the window. That that's the purpose of the, of the thing that I'm going to put there. It's it's new airbrush station. So the first thing that I want to do right now is to repaint my little old white table. But for doing that, I have to bring it outside. So let me just move the camera, go outside and just repaint my table. All right, so I'm outside because I don't want to die from the fumes of the spray can. And here is my table and I'm going to paint him with this kind of off-brand spray paint. It's called Hit Color Deco Spray. Uh, it is a pure matte white, which is the exact same color of my table. But before I paint it with this, I need to file down the surface because there are some bits of glue 
and stains of paints here and there. So I want to, to, to file down the surface of the table in order to make it look more smooth after I painted it. So I'm going to use this paper, uh, this sanding paper with a very rough grit uh, so that I will be able to file away all the stuff that's, that, that, that's here. So uh, let's just get to, to file down my table and then paint it. All right, so I have finished to paint the surface of the table and I have used the entire can, 400 milliliters of spray, white spray can, completely gone. And you can still see the, the old color stains underneath the table, which is not a problem. This is not meant to be a very fancy table. This just need to be a, 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 a table that I can use for my airbrushing sessions, which means that this is going to get dirty again but I'm okay with it. It doesn't need to be fancy, as I said. Now I just need for it to dry, and while I wait for it to dry, I'll just go inside and start to build the workshop. So let's just go inside. Change shirts too hot. So my friends, while your brushing table dried, let's just build the new workshop with the modular workshop that I have here that is from Hobby Zone, not sponsored. I don't know if I already told you that, but anyway, not sponsored. These things that you see here, actually, let me just use this one that is already open. These are just modular, just imagine them as Ikea, since I talked about Ikea before, just imagine them as Ikea furniture, but for intended to create a workshop on your table in order to make your hobby easier and also more organized, which is something that I really like about my hobby. There are instructions and magnets inside because this is modular. Basically, there are magnets on the sides and on the bottom or top of the module so that you can move them and rearrange them rearrange them in whatever kind of shape you want in order to fit on the top of the table. and. The only problem with this is that they don't snap fit together. They, you have to use glue in order to build this. The only problem is that when I have built the older module that you see here, I had some problem with glue because this is plywood, which absorb a lot of glue, moist and water. And so it doesn't actually end up with a very strong fit. I have tried to use different kind of glue. And now for, this purpose, I decided to use Grizzly Montage Power, which I don't know what kind of fucking glue this is. It's just, it, I, I think it was cool and I decided to buy it. I don't know. This, this was purely a marketing scam and I fell for it. Um, like there are uh, like four star out of five of, of grip, uh, four, four stars out of five of strength based on what, I don't know, but uh, we will try and see if this was a scam or if it actually strongly as, as, a, as a grizzly bear, I, I don't know. How, how do they test these things, by the way? I don't know, I've imagined just they like gluing two pieces together then throw it to a bear and see if, 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 if it's the bear just can, or any kind of animal. Like we have gorilla glue, alligator glue, now we have grizzly glue. I don't know, maybe they throw it th uh, against some against animals and the animal that managed to separate the two pieces get get to name the glue I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about I'm too, it's it's too fucking hot and I have to build like a giant pile of plywood 
and I don't know if I can do this because I just want to paint and build miniatures, but before I can do that, I have to build this thing. So let's just get into it and let's see how, how it turns out. And of course, I had to encounter my first problem, which is that these pieces of plywood are all like mashed together. What I mean is, well, you see here, this is one of the pieces, all right? You have to break them like so. And of course, in order to make them fit together inside the box that will become one of the module, you will have to cut away all of these little pieces that you see here if the camera will allow to focus them. Anyway, there are little pieces here that you have to cut out. And how you do that? Well, with a knife or if you are uh, dumb enough to stab yourself, which I did with, uh, and I almost sliced my toe uh, off. Then, of course, I proceed to rotate the, sh the scissors because, of course, I am one that look for safety. Anyway, I will start use scissors because, well, I, I hurt myself, and uh, this I think it's not a very good way to design something like this. Of course, maybe they had to go through some space issues inside the boxes in order to make them easier to be shipped. But anyway, this is not a very good thing and I don't remember something like this in the older boxes. Maybe this is just a new thing that they are doing right now. Anyway, let's just go on and uh, let's build this first pieces. Oh, and also, I've just realized that I have called it plywood, which in reality this is technically MDF. Uh, and now I feel dumb. But anyway, it's wood. This. <laughs> now, let's keep going. Uh, I will just cut a little bit here and I will show you the, finish, the finished thing. I have finally finished to build all the module for my new workshop and it, it, was, it was frustrating. <laughs> As you see, there is a lot of garbage now on the table because I have to snip away all of the little wooden pieces that were keeping together all of the all of the things that I need for build every single module. Now I have a giant pile of wood garbage and MDF garbage onto my table that I have to clean off, but not but before that, I will have to put everything all my colors, the brushes, the, the everything that I have for my hobby here on my new workshop, which looks fantastic, but it will look even better after I have put everything onto the shelves, etc. Then I can show you my my, my the, the, the finished the finished thing, and I will just put everything on the table, and then the workshop should be ready. And everything is finally finished. Phew, all right, I finally finished everything here. And let me tell you, it was painful, it was slow. I didn't take into account that I would have like a giant pile of wood garbage here on the table that I have to clean. But now, as you see, everything is finally looking good. Now, the best part that I like about this workshop is that I can finally display all of my color in the right order, separating them between different kind of brand, different type of colors. Now it's more easy to just look at them and decide what I have to use. It's, 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 more, it's more easy. And there are part of my new painting table that I'm incredibly happy with, especially like this little drawer. The best part about it is that you can just store even more colors in there. And let me tell you that I am going to buy like a new line of all of them because, well, I, I, I'm sure that I will end up just, just buying so many different kind of color that I wanted to try out that all of the shelves that you see here are just going to be full and so I will need more space and this little drawer is something that I would love to have in the future. And my friends, 
you can understand how happy I am with all of the new drawers that I have. I, I was really getting frustrated about not having enough space in my, in, in, in my table in, in, in which I can store all of my tools and all of my stuff. I mean, in, my, my, my grass, my, my, my static grass, my grass tuft, fake flowers, fake, fake snow, um, I, I didn't know where to put them. I didn't have enough space anymore and I was getting like crazy about it. I, I, I was losing my mind. And I finally have all of these little drawers that I can use to store all of my stuff. This is such a great thing for me, you can understand. But you wanna know the best part about my new painting table is this little module that is used to store all of the sprues. Now, before, when I had to build a model kit, I had to scatter all of the sprues around the table and just try to look the one that I need in order to build the miniature or the model kit or whatever. And it was frustrating. But now, with this little thing, I can just put all of the sprues onto it and now I can easily reach the one that I need and then store it right back in after I used it. And this is so beautiful. This is so, you, you, you really, I love this thing. And I was so sad because this little module, I already had that in the past. Before me moving out in this new place, I already had this module, but I couldn't use it because the way that my painting table was placed wasn't very comfortable. It was just underneath the ceiling, which, were, which was going down like so. And all of the sprues that I was putting onto the module were just bumping into the ceiling and they couldn't fit and I couldn't use it. And I was so sad, but now the wall is, gigantic and I can finally use this little module here and I'm very happy about it. Now of course it's not really completely finished, there are still things that I need to do, but now I can finally paint and uh, I really need to paint right now. Uh, moving out was very difficult recently, in fact I didn't actually paint any miniatures for July, so the Cory Monthly Painting Journey. I, I have nothing to show you because I had so many troubles moving here and uh, everything just stopped. I, I literally didn't paint anything at all, even, even build miniatures, I didn't do anything at all. And it, it, now I finally can paint some more and really I need to paint some miniatures. And I can finally do it with my new painting table, so I, I cannot wait just to, as long as I'm finished filming this, I'm, I think that I just start painting new miniatures at the moment because I really need it. It sounds like I am addicted in some way, which I, 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 think, I, I think I am, actually. I don't know, but hey, no, actually I would save more money with drugs, actually, if I think about it. But anyway, I still need to set up the airbrushing table, which is not ready yet but it's just going to look like this one, but just a little smaller. But for the rest of it, everything is ready and I can start painting again and also making new videos because I really want to do also that. And I've decided to do this video, which is not very well made in some part, I can understand that, but everything was so chaotic recently and I tried to do the best as I could in this moment. So thank you my friends, thank you for your patience and I will try to release more videos in the near future. In the meantime if you want you can subscribe, leave a like and also let me know down in the comment what you think about my new painting table. Uh, down in the description you will find the link to my Instagram, my coffee if you want to support me, which you don't have to but if you want I will really appreciate it. And uh, that's it, thank you very much my friends. I hope to see you in the next video. I am Corey, ciao ciao. Hey Brian, what do you think about my new table? <laughs> you approve it? You like it? <laughs> Good boy. What about you, Dana? Do you like my new t Brian, I'm trying to speak with Dana, come on. <laughs> you approve my new table? Hmm? My new painting table? Yeah, I see you like it. <laughs> <laughs>